So it's been uh, maybe like one solid week since I've been at the uh, drawing table and it's a complete, it's a complete mess. But let's go into, we're, we're going live stream tonight and let's do the reveal. So we have Thanos, Cable, uh, Thable, <laughs> um, Kanos, Kanos or Thable, wh whatever we're calling him. But uh, that's going to be tonight at 8 o'clock. So... And the other cool thing is going to be uh, these right here. I, I bought these for uh, five dollars at Target. Um, I really like uh, this this block of colors here. So this is what we're going to be coloring tonight's piece with. All right, everyone. So I'm back, back doing the live stream. Uh, super busy, super busy week rolling out the Infinity War videos. Uh, links in profile, links in bio. Check them out, please do. Uh, a lot of work went into them, a lot of thought, a lot of love. So tonight we're we're continuing Infinity War. There's going to be more Infinity War rollout videos, rolling out more Infinity. Infinity, if I can talk, we're rolling out more Infinity War videos, uh, starting even tonight. Oh, hey oh. So anyway, so we got we got two characters here. We're going to be doing uh, Cable from X-Force and New Mutants. And we're going to do Thanos, and we're, we're going to combine the two. We're going to call it uh, Thable, or uh, <laughs> Kanos, Kanos, or, <laughs> or Thable. Okay, so... Which is kind of cool because growing up, these were two of my absolute most favorite characters. And they're both played by Josh Brolin in the movie. So it's, it's, it's a natural merging. It's a natural handshake. And we're going to start with this right here. So I got... I'm, I love the underside of the Bristleboard covers. Uh, the tooth on this is just... It's, it's literally amazing. And I decided to do something a little bit fun, and I wanted to print this on, you know, like on, on my paper with my comic book measurements, but uh, I wanted tone paper so that I could do more with the Crayola Twistables and with, with the whiteout. Sunday is for the villains. Uh <laughs> And also, too, and, and, and anyone here, anyone paying attention, uh, Sundays at 8 o'clock might be my projected, uh, it might be Sundays at 8 and Mondays at 8. Those are going to be two, two of my projected live streams uh, for anyone taking notes right now. And we also have the uh, Thanos mug. The Thanos mug in the mug. Alexa, volume down. So let's let's just get into it. We we have to get these two characters together. So the funny thing is though is that uh, all of everything that makes Cable cool, his bionic eye and his bionic arm, uh, and everything that makes Thanos cool, the Infinity Gauntlet, everything runs on the same side. <laughs> so it's all on the right side. That's going to yeah you know, make it a little bit tricky because we want to actually position the character uh, this way. Uh, so. You know, we want the character to go from left to right. Uh, you know, posing the character this way, uh, like on the paper, as this way, it's 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 very it's tricky. It's it's a little bit harder. Uh, it might not be live stream material because that's a position I would have to work and rework. So we're just going to put those to the side. We're going to keep Thanos up here. And yeah, we're 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 going to get into it. 
So we're going to go right from pencils to inks to, to colors, and we're really going to see how long this, this takes us. Oh, sorry, hitting that there. So both of these characters too are are very chunky. They're chunky and they're bulky, and they kind of have the same uh, proportions. So I'm gonna be combining like different things, like someone cables aesthetics, like his uh, shoulder blades, uh, his shoulder, uh, even the the X, because uh, Cable is, uh, will always be an X-Men. And we're, you know, we're going to incorporate like his additional weapons. So growing up, like Cable, Cable literally, I mean, you could not get a cooler like hero, anti-hero, as uh, <laughs> as Cable. I mean, he literally was. I mean, I I remember when he hit, and it was like, oh, it was shocking, and it was beautiful. All right, so some of this I'm liking, some of this I'm not. What I'm not liking is this arm right here. So, like I said, the the underside of this. Uh, <laughs> bristle board cover. Uh, it, it it just sucks up the pencil so nice. It just works so well with the with the pencil. And I originally did not want this to have the infinity gauntlet. I thought that was going to be like a cheap thing. But I think I'm going to make them. I think we're going to go cheap. So it's going. It's we can do like a bio infinity gauntlet too, which is going to be fun. Make that shoulder cut in a little bit more. All right. So I'm using what his back uh, guns would be. Uh, I'm using them to kind of frame in the, uh, the the head a little bit. Here we go. Yo, Jim. Good to see you, buddy. How how you been? Yeah, Jim. I'm so sorry. I know I have a uh, a direct message from you that I have uh, yet to respond to. I'm sorry, buddy. But Jim. <laughs> Shout out to Jim, because uh, Jim's doing some really cool poster drawings on his account. And he, uh, <laughs> he's got to keep it up, because I think it's cool stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, so, here we go. So, I think we're, we're halfway there. You know, like, we're still doing this as, like, the cable size. So, I want him to have, like, a, cable used to have these cool mouth pieces. Yeah, you know, that's a lot of like what the nineties were all about. So we're going we're gonna do like the Thanos helmet with the cable mouthpiece. Okay. Now the live streams usually kick out in one hour. I I haven't figured out how I will handle that. Uh, I'm just gonna have to kind of go with it. So th this might be like two broadcasts. I'm gonna try and like time it so maybe I do two. So maybe I'll do like penciling and inking and then do a second live stream tonight of me coloring because we're coloring uh, with this. I know, yeah, Cable, Cable literally is one of the best uh, X-Men 
uh, one of the best Marvel IPs uh, ever. And it's you know, you know what it is too, uh, Cable, like Cable and Thanos, I would say kind of on a, uh, oh sorry there, kind of like on the branding level, like or like audience level, they they evoke the the same stuff. Like the, the the same level of almost like masculinity and toughness, uh, you know, and like they kind of don't put that in comics anymore. Like it, it, I don't understand, you know, like we, we it's still mostly a male dominated market when it comes to comics. Uh, and I'm not saying like women haven't grown in readership in comics, but we're uh, like we are mostly. It's it's a mostly it's it's a male. I'm not. Ugh, I gotta get rid of this. I'm not liking that at all. I'm telling you, the hardest thing sometimes is the drawing and the talking. There you go. The drawing and the talking is the toughness. So let's just get the news down. I literally uh, never really drew Thanos in my entire life. <laughs> bad, bad time to you. You guys are maybe watching me draw Thanos for the first time live. How's that for craziness? And I'm going to be doing. I, I guess, believe it or not, I got to use my my mug. Oh, Chris, what's up, dude? Chris, Chris had just joined us. I don't know if he's still doing it, and, and it's one of those things I kept forgetting to check up on. But Chris was vlogging way before vlogging became uh, a trendy thing for YouTubers. But he was doing something called the uh, Pizza Man Diaries, and <laughs> awesome stuff. I mean, no joke, awesome stuff. But he would be delivering pizzas with a camera on his dashboard, uh, narrating, like basically giving you updates uh, <laughs> as he was delivering pizzas, and then he would make episodes out of it. Amazing stuff. Uh, I miss I miss that. I don't know. I don't know if you're still keeping it, it up, Chris. But I'm going to check check it out. I'm going to see if you're still doing it as soon as I'm done this tonight. So here we go. So we got. See Thanos and Cable too. They're they're it's su they're such an easy mix because they actually both have very similar proportions, and they do make it easy to merge uh, the two characters. And we're going to do, we're doing this like '90s style, like full out. So he's going to have his '90s communications like headgear. Because to me, the only version of Cable that ever existed, that will ever exist, is the version from the uh, 90s. It's just, uh, it's too perfect of a take, it's too perfect of proportions, and I don't know. Like, I don't know why you would challenge it. I, I know you gotta do stuff, I know you gotta go further and evolve characters and, and things like that. So, my electric pencil sharpener... It's not working. It's coming off as dead, so great. Okay. So, here we go. Yeah, and, and look, I get it. You have to... You know, you throughout the years, characters get designed and, and redesigned. But I always loved the original proportions of Cable... You know, going back to Rob, Rob Liefeld, the, the Rob Liefeld proportions, I do think they're they're ultimate. So I don't know if you could, how I really don't know how well some of this is showing up with the the lighting and the uh, colored paper paper. So 
So he's gonna have some like shadowing here. I don't know, I think I'm going I'm kicking some of his fins to be honest. And I was like Thanos to look like like cracked. Like to make him look like he's a creature from another world, another time, another place. Um you know, Thanos never looked scary. Um you know, like, I don't really remember too many portrayals. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe someone out there can correct me. Right? Like, does Thanos have any, like, horrific-looking portrayals? I don't know. And here we go. Here we go, kids. Every what you've been waiting, waiting for. The pockets. And keep in mind too, we uh, I know I say this with every broadcast, but we are doing uh, copyright free music at all times because I want to, uh, you know, like publish the stuff on YouTube on my YouTube channel. Link in, link in profile. And the reason for that is because I don't want to get tagged, I don't want to get flagged. So we do copyright music, but also I do have a love of classical music. So. Here we go. And now I'm going to use Alexa to kind of... Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, set alarm for 8.55. All right, so Alexa's going to hook it up and let me know when I should stop this broadcast. So here we go. We got the we got the incredible. Shoulder armor here. So the, the, the other cool thing, too, that I'm going to be doing is that the the shoulder armor for cable is is going to be it's going to go right to Rob Liefeld's first uh, I would say like major illustrations of him. But going back to X Force One, I know I know he was he was in New Mutants, but it's really that X Force One, that blue, the blue, the silver, the brown coloring for cable, and he he, he had these shoulder blade pads, shoulder pads with like this uh, padding underneath. It just looks so cool. And again, completely ignored today, but whatever. We do it here because that's just the way we like to do things. So I'm using his the guns for his back here. I'm using them to frame in in the the face here, but and that's why they're black too. Uh, I, I'm really just using them as graphic graphic design elements. So, is is everyone ready? It looks like summer is finally upon us. I love it. Today, look, it was a little chilly today, bouncing around the city. But uh, what what a relief just having, what a relief just having it there, having it available. Just, <laughs> like, we're right there. We're, we're right there at perfect springtime. Like, come on, help help us out. Okay, so this uh, I'm switching leads here also because the uh, pencil sharpener is not working. So there's gonna be really nothing special about what I'm doing with the arm here, other than I'm going to do kind of like a biotech mechanical version of the Infinity Gauntlet. And everyone, 
uh, head to my YouTube LinkedIn profile because if you want to learn how to make the Thanos drink, <laughs> the Thanos drink, the recipe, there's a video uh, to help you cope with the deaths, the endless deaths of the Infinity War movie. Uh, I I created a drink called the Thanos that you can make to help you cope with the desolation. So th again, we're doing 90 style cyber arm. With some, maybe like same Keith uh, uh, nods. Same Keith drew this character called Cyber, which was like a Wolverine villain. And he did this like membrane type thing. It was almost like real cybernetic muscle. And holy crap, blew me away. Beyond cool. Seeing that as the first time as, as a kid. Holy she balls. Because we don't curse on this live, live stream, FYI. There we go. So we're going to have, like, the shading here is going to be woof, woof. There we go. So the colored paper, the, the colored paper is designed, is stalled out to work with these. So the highlights and everything's just, it's going to pop majorly. So one of the toughest things is to really get started and start to um, like lay down your forms and just whittle away to like what's what's happening because I kind of did not have a an idea of what we were doing with this. Say we, I mean I. I was doing. You gotta represent the uh, <laughs> the Lego erasers. I get DMs about these. Uh, these are erasers, or not Legos. Not knocking Legos, though. All right, so got a little bit of a problem here. This for this hand. Oh, I got I got to redo all this. I don't know what's hap what just happened. I had it, I saw it, and then I blinked and it was gone. So here we go. Let's just do quick erase right there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Does not have to be perfect. When you do artwork, don't do not get obsessed with ob obsessed with things being perfect. That's probably the worst thing you can do. You should be more obsessed with uh, how to get the job done. Uh, you know, like what type of uh, methodology, what type of process you need to get uh, it, it out. You know, and and understand what some of those barriers are. That's, you know, kind of preventing you from even drawing on a regular basis. There we go. All right, I think we...
And I also drew this in the angle I didn't want to with the introduction. Keep that in mind. All right, so I think we got enough to jump into inks. Now, I never inked on this paper grade before, this type of paper. So we're, we're I don't know. It's a freaking mystery moving forward. Uh, let's see. Let's just do, uh, we have here a fabric castle. I like these, I think these are nylon. They're, they're nylon tipped. Very cool. Yeah, these, these are just fantastic to work with. They're not refillable with, unlike other brush pens, but, uh, holy crap. They're worth it, though. Yeah, we draw 90 styles, so we don't give a crap about teeth count. Don't care. I like Thanos having like a decrepit, like almost like ugly mouth. I mean, dude, that, that movie, that Infinity War movie was literally the bomb. Okay, the bomb, it was the bomb diggity. Like, for real. But, my god, did they look Thanos, they made Thanos look pretty compared to, <laughs> like, they made him look like a model. It's like Pretty Boy Thanos. And you know what we gotta do? We gotta do the uh, the cable glow, the eye glow. So we're gonna do that real quick too, but we're just gonna get through some of these lines here. What's the most important piece of this? The most important part of this is the head. That's why we do it first. While we're fresh. So this is all to gravitating, uh, gravitating, evolving, getting towards um, Twitch streaming. Hopefully, I say every single week, hopefully this week we will be Twitch streaming. And anywhere out there drawing, use use the hashtag draw or die. Uh, that's how I know you're, you're listening, you're out there, you're, you're paying attention. So I might put this up for sale on Etsy uh, when this is done. I was thinking about that. Uh, ju just to maybe promote more of my Etsy store and what's available. Uh, a lot of my design services and I'm going to have some of my consultation services available in Etsy. So yeah, it's really cool if some of you guys just, you know, went there. Even, even give me DMs, give me like feedback. Uh, it, it, I don't know. Yeah, it's. I want to move that needle, like move the chains, and and yeah, improve. Uh, any ideas out there of what you guys want to see me live stream? Yeah, like let me know. Cause you know it's it's a big time investment to uh to do some of this stuff. And I want to use my time as effectively as possible. Go 
gonna borrow some of the stuff from the movie here with the thing there's maybe like having scars or just you know having like a generally beat up face so here we go so we're at the most important part the head I'm liking the head if the head works the rest is going to work so I gotta do the the cable I was kind of thinking like should, should I have added hair like white hair And this even works as a design, like the morning star type glow, because, uh, you know, Thanos being so um, related to the cosmic characters, like you, you, you know, like just design wise, you can you can blend, it. you can copy this into star shining, and just I don't know, it, it's it's such an awesome amalgam here. We're just drawing here. We're just, just a bunch, bunch of kids drawing. Oh, sorry, sorry for hitting that. Yeah, this is where I get a little bit of silent because I'm just so focused on what the next couple moves are, stroke-wise. And, you know, I get anxious. I get into just, uh, like, I want this done. I want it looking cool. I don't think I ever got good with drawing tech. You know, like, I know that's a staple. never got comfortable with just the way I made it look. You know, and I'm like always trying to improve that too. I know that one of the general like methods of drawing, like ideas of drawing tech is just to kind of like do it, keep doing it, like rinse and repeat type thing, and eventually you'll you'll just develop a style for it. I don't know. I mean, like someone asked me too not too long ago who who drew, who draws the best tech, or like who who do you think has, and I will really say like honest to God. The best tech I've ever seen is Jack Kirby, but the close runner-up is John Byrne. Like, shout out to John Byrne. John Byrne's tech, especially in his Fantastic Four run, Trial of Galactus, incredible. Uh, number three, I would say maybe Mark Silvestri. Number four, Jim Lee. Um, number five, Jose Landron. Uh... Like, Ladron and his cable run and his hip flask run. 
incredible. Incredible stuff. So for the tech on this side, I'm going to just do more like impressions because I don't want to take away from what's happening with his glow, you know, with the, with the, the shine of the eye. So I was just going to. Well, we're moving along a lot quicker, if, if I'm going to be perfectly straight. I thought I thought we were going to be doing this at just, uh, maybe a second or a third ball case. I thought breaking down the penciling was going to take a lot longer. So I'm a little happy about that. Here we go, here we go. So, yeah, and you know, like, I don't know if the expectation is for me to do a complete piece. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of getting into this. I'm like, wow, there's, there's just a lot of detail I set up here. But this week, doing all the videos for Infinity War, uh, gave me like a, a, you know, like I think I needed a little bit of a break from drawing. So I was a little bit grateful that the, the movie seemed to come out at the right time and, you know, just initiated, uh, you know, like a, a series of work from me. And just looking back even now, I'm just like, you know, I think I needed a little bit of some rest time. Not that I don't like drawing for you. Cause I do. There we go. There's also a video. If you hit link in profile, there's a really cool uh, supercut of the Avengers footage into a Avengers trailer that's almost 10 minutes long. And I know by now you've seen the movie and the supercut yeah, actually, I predicted the flow of the movie pretty accurately. So you can just almost re-experience parts of the movie. Courtesy of your friendly neighborhood, a.k.a. Pad. And that was a good exercise, too. Like, it was a good exercise in learning different things within Adobe uh, Premiere. Like even pipeline, just controlling lots of footage, uh, a relatively large timeline, like maybe 40, 50 clips. And you get, if you want to learn things, the best way to learn stuff, I get asked this question a lot. You know, it, um, excuse me, the best way to learn stuff is to give yourself assignments. Uh, and the best assignments to use is to, you know, you pick things and you reverse engineer them. And uh, that's it. It's it's that simple. Is it too simple? I don't know. Like, I, I wish I could complicate it. But I can't. Because it's not. Here we go. Go. Don't 
be afraid to use blacks. Just see so many, even even some of the, the guys in the big companies. I'm not gonna name names because we're not about that. But a lot of these dudes and dudettes just seem a little shy, gun shy on throwing in blacks. Maybe proper blacks, I'll say, because we don't use blacks to hide things. And if we do, you can't tell. But I'm live streaming here, so you guys get to see everything I'm doing. And all the mistakes are right there. Alright, so the this boy is coming together pretty well. This is horrible. <laughs> this the X badge is disgusting. I apologize for that. I love the um the pencil. Like all we're keeping all the pencils by the way. We're not even using rulers. F rulers. We're just going. Swinging for the fences on this one. And I always try and find ways to put in brush strokes as texture uh, when we're using blacks. Like kind of like solid blacks that go into a broken uh, texture. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 8.42. 8.42. So we're, we're, we're going to cut the first chunk of this soon. And I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then, then I'm going to come back. So Alexa's going to time it for us. And shout out to, oh, I, I wanted to get his name, Adam Cozart. He, uh, you can find him through my friends. I follow him. Uh, this is who I got the, this idea from. He posted this maybe a day ago. I thought it was genius. And uh, I'm going to tag him in a few of my posts so everyone knows who this genius is that I first saw this from. Because, you know, we don't, uh, we don't take credit, we give credit. That's the, uh, I'm not Stan Lee. I don't take credit, I give it. Even though, uh, even, even myself, uh, boy, I've had a lot of credit taken from me. Just even when it comes down to igniting things, pushing people, inspiring people, that sort of thing. Enabling, I'll say. Yeah, yeah, got got robbed that a few times. Not that I care. Because I'd rather put more energy forward than take any energy moving forward. I'm a giver all the time. And it's telling of people sometimes. So. It's a low cost to figure out. What, who someone really is. And sometimes when that happens, you, it's better for you to back off. Like, don't be around that negative energy. So, this, this is something I love doing this type of texture. This, like, puffy, puffy texture here. Got Dallas here now. Dallas is trying to make an appearance. What's up, buddy? Psst, psst. Where you at? No. Oh, just heard it. Where did you go? Where'd you go, Dow? Let me get some of this nice coffee.
So I have to practice to where I can draw. Uh, oh, um, bolts like things that are receded that are like beveled almost. Like I guess beveling. That's what I have to get better at. Cause these these should be properly beveled and they're just not. They just look bad. They look bad. Sorry. There we go. I kind of I forgot. I wanted to actually be. I was going to grab a drink. Because that's kind of what I'm in the mood for. I don't know why I have. I got coffee and and onward here. Shout out to Val Bailey. But yeah, so, like I said, this, this stream's gonna be, we're gonna be wrapping this up soon. And we're gonna come back, finish inking. We're gonna, we got the Crayola twistables. And we're gonna, we're gonna lay down some twistables and some white, some white ink. And boom. And I say white ink, I mean, uh, it's more like white out. Uh, what I would give for comics to be drawn this way again. Because this is really where this is a, this is where we need a true revolution. Is a return to 90s uh, aesthetic editorial style uh, balls. Like just having some gonads willing to swing for the fences or some storylines. Always, the armor is always chipped and broken, guys. It looks cool. That's not one of my inventions. I saw it, I copied it. The rest is history. And the hell with using rulers. We all need rulers. Because what we're doing is we're just drawing. We're just putting it out there. Right here. We we're we're getting there, everyone. Progress in this was way quicker than I was anticipating, which is good, I guess.
So a lot of these live streams too, what's going to dictate is my the materials I'm using. Uh, some materials are going to allow me to work quicker than others. So I'm thinking about just like sticking to a, a way of doing live streams. So I can do a complete drawing in, you know, in within like an hour's time. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Bump in that camera, yo. So a lot of this is just texturing, texturing and shadowing. Really nothing crazy, nothing complicated. Uh, it's just keeping track of, you know, what your intended textures are, what's overlapping, how's it overlapping. You know, these are all de quick decisions you make. Like real quick decisions. Like they're almost like reflexes. Just like that Doreen Doreen song. I got one of these that are, um, the, 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 uh, there we go, this one. See, like, the, the brush for this one's just about done, so I said, let me just use that for, for the bigger black here. I could use some of my ink, like my Black India ink right here, but I don't, uh, look, I'm a stickler. And I like consistency when it comes to ap applied materials. Hey, Dal. Okay, Dallas is literally just pushing a giant box right now. What's up, buddy? Okay, he's playing. You're probably going to hear him. Not a big deal. There we go. But I love this paper. This paper is so great. And if you guys want, again, anyone tuning in, the paper is this. <laughs> okay. We recycle here. Everything has a purpose. Here we go. Boom. See, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll take the black... And they'll either run it in, which does take away a little bit from the contour. And instead of finding a, a, another creative way to not to run black into some of your line work, they will do what's called like a halo. Uh, you can do uh, aren't like in like outer ha outer ha halos. Can I say that right? Outer halos or inner ha halos. So they can run to the line, or they can run inside the line. And I, I don't really like doing that. I never really did. I always thought it was a little cheap. And I'm probably making some enemies with that statement. But uh, I just always thought the role of the artist was to, uh, would be to find another solution for that. And yes, yeah, look, some guys work with halos. They, they're great. They're wonderful at drawing halos. They just make it work. And, but there's only a few. Oh, there we go. Thank Alexa, stop. All right, so that's Alexa. We, I'm going to come back. We're going to do the arm, okay? But I'm going to decompress a little bit. I'll, I'll be back later tonight. And, yeah, yeah, I mean... Well, rock and roll. I mean, it's looking pretty good, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to go away. I'm going to come back. And then, then we'll see. Okay. Everyone, here. If you guys want a little bit of a closer look. Right? 